Hello! This video is the fourth video of our walkthrough series on how to use my Dragon City Bot Python application. Before we proceed, it's important to note that the videos in this series are not interconnected with one another. Therefore, it's not really going to matter if you will watch this walkthrough series in chronological order or not. Also, a discretion that this bot is not a cheating program or a hacking program because it does not alter the game variables directly. This bot only relies on computer vision to perform its program tasks, mimicking how a human would perform the same tasks over and over again, especially in this particular game. In other words, it's just an automation program, therefore it's within fair use. With that being said, let's take a look on how to use the only Terra plus Terra breeding, only Terra hatching, only food farm harvest, and arena fight to lose points features of this bot. If you're new to this series and wondering how to install this bot into your own computer, you can head over to my GitHub page. The link is in the description below. Be sure to follow the readme instructions on the step-by-step -step guide on installing this program into your own computer. And after a successful installation of this program into your own computer, you will receive exactly this folder. And we can run it by double-clicking the main.py directly inside from this folder or in my case i'll just be opening it in my visual studio code open the folder click the main.py and click run and start debugging or you can press f5 for that and let's choose the uh the first one or the, the python file or debug it using the python debugger built into visual studio once running a pop-up window will appear it's going to display the instructions we need to follow in order for this bot to work as intended. So now let's follow the instruction and open the Dragon City Windows application. If you follow everything and you've opened the Dragon City Windows application, we can now confirm by pressing yes. And it's going to give us the list of the tasks that this bot was programmed to do from this drop down list. Again, for this video, I'll just be showcasing the Unlay Terra breed only Terra Hatch, the only Food Harvest, and the Arena Fight to Lose Points features. Well, you may be asking, uh, where do I get to use these features? Well, the apparent answer to that is during the heroic race, right? When the race requires you to uh, breed dragons, hatch dragons, and food harvest uh, on its missions, and especially conveniently uh, in this time where uh, uh, this event right here, Spring Runner, requires us to uh, collect food or hatch eggs and some other time it's going to require us to breed dragons. So uh, certainly this bot is going to do that for you without gems. Uh, you don't have to spend gems for it, so you just got to let this bot run into your own computer. So now uh, let's choose the only Terra breed option and let's read the instructions together by pressing OK. And now it's going to prompt us to locate the ultra breeding tree too. So uh, I think that's right here then. In order for this to work, let's max the zoom out first. So uh, let's go this by scrolling down the furthest. And then click the zoom in button two times. Or this plus button two times. One, two. And our ultra breeding tree too is right here then. Also make sure the hatchery six is visible on your screen so i think that's right here so a uh, prerequisite for this uh, bot to work you must have ultra breeding tree 2 and the hatchery 6 close to each other and now i think we follow everything let's press yes then it's gonna ask us um how many times do i want to breed my terror dragon so uh it's just going to ask us for how many cycle i think for this video i'm just gonna showcase uh two cycles and let's gonna see uh, how would it end. And also it's gonna notify us, uh, this is a cautionary notification, uh, to notify us that it's a rebreed process to make sure our recent breeding is a Terra plus Terra Dragon. So let's check that in our Ultra Breeding 2, rebreed, and yep, it's Terra plus Terra. And also it's important to note that um, to use an unempowered Terra, in order to not mess up the breeding cycle or not to unlock these uh, exclusive uh, dragons. So with that said, um, I think we're ready to go. Let's give it a shot by pressing OK. 
and so they're likely going to cycle on through. So uh, reading process and from here on out I'm just gonna speed the video a little bit for you guys. All right, I think we're done there and it's gonna notify us that it's done bringing the, the Terra Dragons for two times, exactly uh, the amount of cycles we've had. Moving on to the second one, we will now be choosing the Anli Terra Hatch option and let's read the instruction together by pressing OK. And this time it's gonna ask us to locate the Divine Orbs Habitat 2. So I think that's right here, Divine Orbs Habitat level 2. And, or and in order for this to work, we need to max the zoom out first, then zoom in two times. I think we've already done that, so we can skip that part and then make sure that the hatchery six is the closest is the closest to the divine orbs habitat two. So uh, I think uh, it's the closest compared to the uh, terra habitats right over here. So I think we're already good to go for this spot. So we, I think we follow everything. So let's press yes, and this time it's gonna ask us again to how many times. Do we want to hatch their dragons? So, uh, in your case, you can go all out and choose 40, but uh, for this video, I'm just gonna, gonna limit it to two, just to demo it for you guys. So, let's press OK, and it's directly going to get into the cycle, then purchase the Terra Dragon, wait for it from the hatchery, and I think you get the gist for it. So, from this point, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be speeding the video a little up for you guys. Alright, I think we've already accomplished uh, hatching Terra Dragons for two times. So, I think we're good. And I think you already get the gist of it. So, you can certainly take advantage of that feature. Moving on to the third one, we will now be choosing the Anli Food Harvest option and let's read the instructions together by pressing OK. This time, it's gonna prompt us to locate the huge food farm and I think that's right here. So uh, also, an uh, important note for this spot feature, we need to stick our huge food farm together in order for this to work properly or to maximize the feature of this spot. So uh, in the case here, they're already very close to each other or at least uh, they are close or within your screen. I think we've already located our huge farm here. And the same as before, we need to max the zoom out and zoom in two times so we can skip that uh, step. And I think we're good to go. So let's press OK. And again, this time it's going to ask us to how many times do we want to harvest food. You can certainly go all out by pressing 40 or choosing 40. But in my case, in this video, we're just going to limit that into 2. So let's press 2, hit OK, and it's going to notify us a caution before proceeding. Uh, to remind us that this is a regrow process, make sure that your recent grown food is the 30 second food. So uh, that, I think we already uh, have that right here. I think this, that's the, that's the blue, that's the blue bell bouquet. And that's the 50 gold right here. As long as we we had that previously, it's got, this bot is not going to cause problem for us. So in my case, I've already checked that one. Uh, you can see that the gold in my reroll all is is very low. So I think that's a very good indicator that everything is the 30 second food. So I think we follow everything. Let's press OK, and then it's gonna directly go into the cycle, and it's was able to regrow it then it's gonna wait for 30 seconds to harvest everything up so at this point I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit for you guys so so yeah Okay, I think the bot was able to perform 
the food harvesting for two cycles already as has given us this notification so let's press ok and so i think that's it for the anli food harvest and now moving on to the last but not the least feature of this bot we will now be choosing the arena fight to lose points option so uh, let's press ok to read the instruction and now it's gonna prompt us to open the arena let's battle and arena so uh, let's go with fight by the way if you are not aware already dragon city has already uh, change the mechanics when it comes to fighting so i think this time if your dragon dies in a battle it's not going to to toggle the countdown the same as before so uh i think this bot was just designed for that to pick the weakest dragon from your dragons to fight uh, a strong opponent uh, say for example i'm gonna run this uh, a single time so let's press yes and choose one only we have uh, up to six option right here that's a full bar if you want to lose everything but i don't think it's really going to apply this time now so i'm just gonna let you show how it works basically it's gonna pick the the weakest dragons from your team and it's directly gonna fight and it's gonna quit that but uh in this new update you will see that uh even though you lose uh it's not going to toggle the the uh, countdown for these dragons to be usable again in a fight so i don't think this bot is gonna be helpful for now it certainly was helpful before uh just be before this this very recent update so well uh, i'm just gonna leave it there perhaps it's gonna come back in the future so you can take advantage of this feature of this bot but for now i think it's use useless all right so that will be all for this video i think i've already covered the entire program tasks of this bot for now well there might be some additions or changes in the future to this bot who knows nevertheless if you don't want to miss that go and subscribe to my channel now and click that notification bell if you find this video in any way useful leave a like and if you have some questions, clarifications, and suggestions for this project, leave them down below and I'll be sure to check them out. Thank you very much.